Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're looking at a Chinese copy. I say Chinese copy, it is a Chinese copy of an SRI Pro. So it's uh, the original SRI Pro, SRI Pro Lite, or the Pro Lite S as it's now called. Now I've had this gun about three years, maybe even four years. Uh, I actually got two i didn't buy two i bought one which is this one here and it had a split um just near the where the fan adjuster is uh where obviously where it had been put together at the factory it had been over tightened or, or there's too much loctite used or whatever and it split the casing slightly it didn't seem to affect it anyway i contacted the people i bought it off of on aliexpress and amazingly they sent me another one so i ended up with two but i've had them i've had them for ages and I hadn't used this for about two years. I used to keep this gun for um, hammerite uh, and, and, and stuff like that. Stuff that you didn't want to use a good gun on, if that makes sense. Now, people who watch the channel will know that I've got the original versions of these. I've also got the DV-1S, which is what you would call the... Uh, the newer version of it. I, they still make this as the Pro Lite S, uh, but the... You know, the successor model-wise uh, is going to be the DV-1S, the sort of latest Devilbis. Uh, and they are quite different. But the SRI Pro Lite, for me, has always been a really, really good gun. So I thought it was good to get this out and give it a go. I'd, I'd steered clear, as I said in the video of the GTI Pro Lite copy. Uh, I've steered clear of doing these videos for, well, for at least three or four years. Um, simply because I, I didn't feel it was right, but I've, I haven't changed my mind, but I, I just think, well, I've bought them, so I might as well use them, and people ask about them all the time, so here it is, basically. So apologies to anybody that's offended by this. I'm sure there will be some, and I can understand it to a degree, but there are a lot of people that actually like to see things uh, about these sort of guns, so here it is. So. What do we know about it? Well, a reasonable amount, really. It's not a direct copy. The cut mounting is different. There's virtually nothing that's interchangeable. Well, there is nothing that's interchangeable that I can think of between this and the original gun. So it's a very loose copy, probably a copy in name only. Uh, it, it's not as refined. I'll start off by saying it's certainly not as refined as the original. What I used in this video, for the base coat, I used a, a 2.5 bar, what's that, about 30, 36 PSI, and I used 3 bar, which is about, what's that, about 36, no, 39, 40 PSI, something like that. Uh, 3 times 13, basically, yes, yes, about 40 PSI for the clear coat, because it doesn't, atomize as well as the original version the original version I, i'll use depending what cap it is but there's a hv5 cap and a t5 cap but i tend to use t5 most of the time it uses a bit less air um both of them are, are actually work fine but the t the t5 cap for base coat i'd normally use about 1.8 bar um which is what about 27 26 and 27 psi uh, yeah, about 25, 26 PSI, and I will use two bar, 29 PSI for a clear coat. And that normally works really, really well for any clear coat or whatever. I did a top 12 uh, minigun video, which the SRI Pro Lite from memory is about third, I think. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that. And you can, you know, hear me talking about the original version. But as I say, we're talking about the, the copy here. So it's nowhere near as refined. So you do need to bump the pressure up. I use 2.5 bar for the base coat and 3 bar for the clear coat. One of the things you notice is it does use more air, partly because you're putting more pressure through it. But also because it's, the cap isn't as refined, the holes are a bit bigger than the original. So it's going to use more air, air anyway. So if you're you know very limited for air don't think that this is going to be you know you've heard stories about the original version don't think this is going to be exactly the same because it's not you need more pressure to get the material to um, to atomize properly 
Uh, and by its very fact that you're putting more pressure through it, it's going to use more air. The more pressure you put through the same gun, the more air we, it will use. So it, it's not it's not air hungry because it's still only a mini gun, but it, it will use more pressure than you would you would think, uh, comp certainly compared to the original. It actually performs reasonably well. Um, as I say, I've used it for I use it for what, they, what we call I don't know if you get it throughout the um, throughout the world, but we get it in the UK called Hammerite. Um, and I used to use it for I used to do some things that, like direct, direct to metal stuff, and you get Hammerite. It used to be able to thin down enough to, to spray. And I used to use it for that because it's horrible, smelly stuff. It actually works quite well, to be fair, but it's quite horrible, smelly stuff. Um, and, and I found it worked quite well for that. And as I say, I didn't want to use a good quality gun, um, you know, muck up a good quality gun, basically using it for that. Uh, but it, it, it worked well, and I hadn't used it for two years. So I was a little bit rusty. I'm using one of the practice tanks, um, a couple of tanks we keep for like comparing things and actually this one the color you see the original color was one that i used i just sprayed it with 2k clear coat uh, to compare it to the 1k uh, so that it's something that i could keep around for you know two months or it was 10 weeks i think in the end but you know keep around for quite a while now, obviously if i'm doing something for myself or for other people you can't you can't keep hold of it for 10 10 weeks because people want it back, obviously. Um, so you just you just can't do it. So I have a few practice tanks that I play around with, uh, and this is um, one of a set of two that I've got exactly the same. So it didn't really matter, and that was the whole idea of doing it, really. It didn't really matter. It was just to see what it came out like, um, because I'd, I'd recently done a video on the GTI Pro Lite, and I thought, well, while I've got this here, I might as well do this as well, which is exactly what I did. So... As I say, it's actually not a bad gun. You can pick these up for, I think, somewhere. I mean, the pounds actually, I normally buy off AliExpress because it's a lot, lot cheaper. I've seen people in the UK selling these on eBay, but some of them are like 70, 75 GB pounds. I think that's a bit much, really, because I certainly doing stuff like this, I would rather pay the extra 25 pound and get an ANI R150. Uh, yes, you have to. Well, A160 as it is now. R160, sorry, as it is now. Yes, you have to use more pressure with it. Um, sometimes three and a half bar for clear coat, but it just it just gives you more of a satisfying performance. Really, there's also the availability of spare parts. With something like this, you're not going to get them. But if you're only buying it off AliExpress, what, what I did, with the pound being a little bit better against the dollar at the moment, and I normally pay in dollars on AliExpress, you'll notice that you can get one of these for about 35 GB pounds. Um, they put a bit of tax on these days before you actually get it, so you won't get caught at the border. Uh, you pay it beforehand, so it might be about 40 GB pounds. And for 40 GB pounds, it's actually not a bad gun, but bear in mind that if something, something goes wrong with it, it's gonna need a spare part that isn't a generic spare part to any spray gun. Um, you're going to have to bin it. The The pattern is slightly different to the original. It's a far more centre-weighted, wetter pattern, which normally I like. If, if this performed the way it does, without the extra pressure, um, I would actually say it was a really, really good gun. But the way it is at the moment, I'd just say it's, you know, it's reasonable value for money. If you can get your head around the fact that they are deliberately ripping someone off, uh, they call it an SRI Pro, not an SRI Pro Lite, but it's, it's a copy of the original. The SRI Pro and the SRI Pro Lite are the same gun. They didn't really change anything apart from the, the colours. But, uh, it, I mean, it is a rip-off, whichever way you, you look at it. So, you know, some people will be unhappy, as I said at the start. Some people won't be unhappy with that. Some people won't, but you know, I'm just here to. I'm just, I'm just a reporter in the field, really, giving you the report of what what I think. Something I already had anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it actually, it actually works. As I say, it works really, really well. It's probably a better. Well, it is a better clear coat gun than a base coat gun, uh, and I. I you know, I'm not sure why that is. I think it's probably because the uh, the it, it suits a, a slightly thicker material. 
where base coat is normally thinner than clear coat. So um, it, it suits clear coat better. If you can put up with the pressure, one thing that comes with the, the extra pressure you'll need is more overspray. So if you're using this at home, you know, in your shed or your garage or whatever, then expect more overspray than you would get with the original. So certainly, you know, if you can afford it and you want a decent gun, try and go for the original. Yes, I know it's going to cost you four times the price, but it will be worth a lot more money when you come to sell it, if you need to sell it. Uh, it will use much less air. It will give you much less overspray. It will certainly give you more uh, satisfaction using it because one of the things I find, being a, a lover of tools, I don't get much feedback or joy from using these uh, these type of guns. I, I get more joy out of this one, actually, than the GTI Pro Lite. The GTI Pro Lite is really coarse compared to the original, whereas this is, this is not as coarse, but it's still, as I said at the start, it's not as refined as the original one. Uh, but there are there are quite a bit of difference. I've heard people say now they spray exactly the same. They don't spray exactly the same. I expect there's some kind of bot or something that's you know just generically answering things to try and big up the uh, the produce the people that make the guns. Really, I'm, I'm guessing that's the case. But you know, I have no idea. But you know, maybe maybe they haven't used the original and they think it's as good as the original. But it isn't as good as the original. But for if you're paying 40 GB pounds for it, then it's probably worth a pop. And as I say, if something goes wrong, then you just have to bin it. But here's the final results. I think you'll agree. It actually came out all right for something I haven't used for two years. Uh, I was a bit rusty with it, but, you know, you, you can make most things work if you're uh, remotely sure of uh, the, the finish you want, really. And the materials you use. Another thing that... that comes up really is when people asked about different guns certainly the materials you use the, the more you get used to using the materials uh, the, the better chance you've got with a gun so you can pick up a new gun uh, and you're using it with materials that you've always used for, for ages you'll find that you can do reasonably well if everything's new it can take on a bit more of a challenge because things just don't um, you know go quite according to plan Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed my ramblings as always. Um, I'll leave you with this final final shot. And as I say, it's not a bad finish at all, I don't think. U-Pole 2080, so not a particularly uh, good quality clear coat. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. Cheers. Bye-bye.